In this video, you will learn how to register an API as a proxy with Amplify Central. I'll show you how to register an API, deploy it to a runtime group, and test its methods. Registering an API with Amplify Central adds security and avoids exposing it directly to your consumer. We are in Amplify Central. To get started, click the Register an API tile on the home page. From here, I can import my proxy from a file that lives on my computer. I can import a sample API or I can import from a URL. I can also drag and drop a file from my desktop um, into the UI. From here, this API has multiple backends available to choose for the host of the API. Valid endpoints include a, a valid domain or a relative base path. I can click one of these and then I can uh, adjust what the backend URL is gonna be when I import here or I can go and I can click uh, the valid host and it's going to set this as the backend URL. If I need to adjust it I can, I can do that right here. From here I'll go on to the next stage and there's additional configuration here. I can add an image if I would like. I can change the name, the owning team, the base path and so on. The base path is going to be where the API lives on uh, the runtime group that it gets deployed to. I'll go ahead and save this into a new API proxy, and then I'm going to configure it. From here, I can see the runtime groups that I have available to me. I can deploy this proxy to one of these runtime groups. I can also change the authentication if I would like. By default, it is set to pass through. I can come in here. I can change it to be secured with an API key, a JSON web token, or an OAuth token. On this page, I can see the available methods that the API has. And once this is deployed, I can come over here and I can try one of these methods from the UI. I'll go and do, deploy the proxy now to the test runtime. Once it's deployed, I'll see that I have one existing revision and that the proxy now lives at this endpoint. Now that it's deployed, I can try one of these methods. and click the try it out tab and then execute and we see the call goes through and we get a response right here. If I would like I could even copy this URL which is where the proxy was deployed to and I can take this to Postman and I could try it out here as well and you should see the same result. That's it. Thanks for watching.